What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and evidently there is trouble in paradise when it comes to the disconnect between Lucasfilm and Disney. Now there's a couple rumors and reports out there about Bob Chapek and Bob Iger, two big time execs over at Disney, being livid at Lucasfilm over the reveal of this new Disney Plus show. The one run by Leslie Headland, the one who was Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant for five years, including one year directly reporting to Harvey. Harvey Weinstein, and when Variety reports that this, the only thing that anyone knows about this show is that it's going to be female-centric, that's it, nothing about the plot, that's the only thing that was revealed to them, I guess I can kind of see why Disney might be a little bit upset about that, but let's get into this article, which goes into detail, and shout out to Clownfish TV, Midnight's Edge After Dark, I saw videos from them about this as well, um, they were on the story pretty early, but this comes from Bounding Into Comics. Rumor, top Disney executives livid over rumored female-centric Star Wars series from Leslie Headland. A new rumor indicates Disney's top execs in Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are, quote, livid over the rumored female-centric female -centric Star Wars series from Leslie Headland, first reported by Variety. This rumor does come from the Walt Disney World Magic Forums. So let's go there. I actually wanted to go there. I have screenshots in the Bounty and Comics article, but I wanted to show you the thread itself. So this comes from WDW Pro. Um, all right, I'm usually the one explaining what's going on behind the scenes, but I could use a little help with this one. I've got a friend in the know who says this morning, Pacific time, both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are unhappy with Lucasfilm and there is and there is faster than normal movement going on to get high level meetings going. What, what the heck is going on? Now, keep in mind, this is on Thursday. This is on Thursday, and that big announcement came on Wednesday. That's when the report came out from Variety. I'm on the road, so I can't dig on all of this, but what could possibly be going on with Lucasfilm that creates a scurry when everyone is basically working from home, if at all? The term used was, quote, livid, but I just can't imagine what they could have possibly done. And there's a couple responses here. Someone says, seems like all Lucasfilm is good at these days is making people livid from the fans, media, internet, finance gods, and now the bobs. Um, a couple other trolls, you know, Baby Yoda demanding $1 million an episode, things like that. Um, but then someone says this. Uh, the report of the alternate timeline female-centric Star Wars stories for Disney Plus in development by Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. And evidently, that was a good guess. Because uh, the original poster does respond right here. Yep, you beat me to it. Apparently, the goobers at Lucasfilm hired Harvey Weinstein's formal personal assistant who comes with significant PR baggage, potential legal baggage, because remember, Disney is also named, Bob Iger himself is named in a civil lawsuit about Harvey Weinstein. Now, that isn't necessarily uncommon in big things like this for the CEO of a company to be dragged into it with his name on it, but it should be noted. I think it is important to know we're talking about legal drama and PR drama. That's definitely a part of this and did so without consulting Disney or their legal department. Makes sense now. I couldn't figure out how they could even screw up from home, but they found a way. Sounds like a lot of people at Disney, not the highest opinion of what's going on over there at Lucasfilm. Um, and this basically, this next couple paragraphs in the article do describe what I just read to you all. Um, now, reporting on that rumor, like I said, Clownfish TV did do a uh, did do a video on it. This is a, a little bit from their video, and I did watch it. It's a great watch. I highly recommend going and checking it out. And one of the things they're speculating is they think that maybe Leslie Headland's camp actually leaked this themselves. Maybe her or someone close to her to try to get this story out there. Because, again, when that's the only thing we hear... It's not to say that Disney or Lucasfilm has been good at any step of the way when it comes to PR, but it doesn't seem like something they would do, especially at a time right now where they're not necessarily greenlighting a ton of shows. They're actually canceling a ton of shows, and they go into that in their video. And then Midnight's Edge also did a video. They speculate a very similar thing. And I think it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense that it could have been Lee from Headland's camp. It was strange timing. Again, no one really saw this coming. And the fact that that's all there was, that's all that was provided by this insider information, that's a female-centric Star Wars story set in another time. Um, that's not very descriptive at all. But if you're going to leak something, why would you put that in there, especially with everything going on right now? And the fact that Disney is hurting this 
this quarantine, all everything that's going on in the world is hurting Disney. There is no doubt about that. So why would you go out and want this additional bad press? Want to get yourself connected to the former assistant of Harvey Weinstein, who immediately went and deleted those 250 tweets, just like we talked about. It's a very interesting situation. Um, it definitely sounds like there is a little bit of a tension between Disney and Lucasfilm right now, if any of these forum posts are believed to be true. Again, there has been some reliable information that's come from that forum before. I don't specifically know anything about that poster uh, himself or herself, but from that forum, there's definitely been stuff that has been leaked out and it sounds pretty legit. Um, who knows if it's actually true or not, but if it is true, it just goes to show you what shambles Lucasfilm is in. The fact that everyone's like, oh, yep, there they go again. Didn't they think, didn't think they could screw up even though they're not at their offices, but look, there they go again. Interesting. Do I think that Bob Chapek and Bob Iger are upset about this announcement? Probably. They don't need any of this bad press. They don't need any of this stuff. Um, their stock has taken a beating over the past couple months. They don't need any more bad press. And there's no doubt that Leslie Headland and you just put that other, a female centric story. That's all that it's focused on. Again, just gender politics, identity politics. It seems like a wrong move and not one that Disney PR would likely put so boldly out there. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you think that there's actually any tension between the higher ups at Disney and Lucasfilm? Makes a lot of sense to me with all the mistakes they've been making lately with Star Wars. Let me know. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.